Heart center, close your eyes, and we'll begin with three ohms all together. Inhale. Om. Om. If you're going to be using my playlist, go ahead and press play. And then we're going to begin with a breathing exercise I always like to do before Hatha flows. It really helps to calm me down and get collected. So with our right hand, we're going to use our thumb and index finger. You will keep your mouth closed this whole time. You will use your right thumb to press or to gently close your right nostril. And then when you inhale, you breathe in through the left nostril. On your exhale, you will switch. So now you're plugging the left and then exhale out the right. Inhale, same side. Switch, exhale. So we will do about four rounds of that. I like to count to either three, six, eight, whatever feels good for you. If this is new to you, you'll probably stick with like three or four. So just try to keep it even. So we'll begin plugging um, right thumb with the right nostril. And you can close your eyes and remember to keep your mouth shut. Begin and I'll meet you there at the end. And once you've finished your last round, go ahead and just bring your hands down to rest on top of your knees, palms facing up. And let's take another deep breath in, filling all the way up through the belly, through the chest. And then open mouth, let it go. Really nice. Blink your eyes open. We're just going to begin with a warm up before we get into uh, the chakra clearing sequence. So, coming into your tabletop position, wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. We're going to inhale, drop the belly, gaze up at the ceiling. And then exhale, push away, press and round the spine. Again, inhale. Arch the back, look up, exhale, round. Just a few more rounds just like that, moving with your breath.
and find some freedom in their movement just kind of moving however feels good to your body not trying to fit yourself in a box just move with the flow of your breath And then I come back to neutral. And then from here, we're gonna just step back into a plank pose. So walk your hands out a little bit in front, keep your shoulders stacked over your wrists, just step the right foot back, and then the left foot back, engage through the belly. So notice here that we're not dropping the belly or the hips down. We wanna really engage and lift. So I always like to warm up the core whenever I'm practicing because we really need a stable and strong core to do a lot of poses in yoga. So just staying here, remember to breathe in and out through your nose. One more breath in. On our exhale, we're gonna press back downward facing dog. So from your downward facing dog, I want you to look up at me and notice how here I have a round back because I'm really trying to reach my um, heels down to the mat. We don't want that. We really want to lengthen. So bend your knees and almost like tilt your hips up or back, your um, hips bones back. So you really press them down into the mat with your index finger and thumbs. And there you have a lengthened spine. And then just pedal your feet out. So bend one knee, straighten through the other. Pedal out your feet. Come back through center, look forward. You're on the balls of your feet. And then just take a bunch of little tiny steps all the way to the front of your mat. Bring your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance to start. Bend your knees, grab opposite elbows, and then sway side to side. This should feel pretty good in your body, just letting your whole top body hang heavy here. Shake your head no, not a yes. Really nice. Go ahead and release your elbows. Bring your feet hip width distance. So bring two fists in between your feet and then that's how you measure your hip width. And make sure your heel is behind your second toe so we have um, our knees facing forward. We're gonna root down to rise all the way up. So rolling vertebrae by vertebrae, pressing into your feet. Head is the last thing to lift. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Let's take a deep breath in. Open mouth, let it go. So nice. So we're gonna begin with a few rounds of moon salutations. If you're familiar with sun salutations, then they're actually a little bit different than those. Um, so go ahead, we'll follow along. I'll go slow for the first one, and then we'll move with our breath. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Hands down, step that right foot back. Drop that knee down. Untuck the toes. So we're in our low lunge here. I want you to double check with this front foot and make sure that we don't have this knee coming out over the ankle. We wanna stack the ankle and the knee. We're gonna inhale, reach our arms up. And then exhale, hands come down. Tuck the back toes, lift that back knee, and then left foot steps back to meet the right. You come into your plank pose. And then your exhale, you're gonna bend the knees, press back downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Drop that back knee down. Untuck the toes, reach your arms up, inhale. And then exhale, hands come down. 
Step forward into your fold. Root down to rise all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, hands at heart center. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Left foot steps back. Drop that knee down. Lift your arms up. Inhale, lunge. And then exhale, hands down. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Downward facing dog. Really nice. From here, we're actually going to do a rolling vinyasa forward. So inhale, roll all the way forward into your plank pose. And then exhale, bend the knees, press back. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands come down. Step forward into your fold. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Really nice. So that was one complete round of moon salutations. We're going to do two more complete rounds. This time, moving with our breath. And if you want to do chaturangas in there, you can go ahead and do them when we come back in downward facing dog and we roll forward into that um, plank. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. I'm going to keep it simple. So let's begin. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Right foot steps back. Drop the knee down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands down, step back, plank, downward facing dog. Roll forward into your plank pose. Optional chaturanga or press back, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, drop the back knee down. Inhale, lift. Ooh. Exhale, step forward. Right, it's all the way to up, inhale. Exhale, hands at heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Left foot steps back. Drop the knee down. Low lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands down, step back. Plank pose. Downward facing dog. Rolling vinyasa, just roll forward plank. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps forward, drop the knee, lift up. And then exhale, hands down, step forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Really nice, last round. Let's try to just move like a dance. Inhale. Forward fold. Right foot steps back, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands down, plank, downward facing dog. Ro uh, roll forward, vinyasa. Press back, down dog. Right foot steps forward. Drop that knee, lift, inhale. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Left foot steps back, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands down, step back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward into your plank. Exhale, press back, down dog. Left foot steps forward. Drop the knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands come down. Step forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Really nice. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, uh, halfway lift. Hands down, step back into your plank pose. Hold it here, fire there up that breath. And we're gonna actually drop down to our forearms and come into a forearm um, plank. So again, just turn that belly back on for the next pose that we're gonna do. Really nice. Breathing in and out through your nose. One more breath in. Exhale, let it go. Press up into your hands, back into your plank, downward facing dog. Really nice. Lift that right leg up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and bend it open and reach the heel towards your glutes. Really nice. And then you can make a big circle. So draw the knee in towards your belly, big circle, and then go the opposite direction. Turn, make um, a circle with your wrist, or I mean, I'm sorry, your ankle, not with your wrist. That would be dangerous. And then bring that foot back down. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend it open. And nice. And make sure you don't, um, we want to keep our shoulders square to the mat in this pose. Draw that knee in towards the, the chest, big circle. And then opposite way. Um, make a circle with your ankle, both ways. So nice. And then drop it back down, drop down to your knees, untuck your toes. Really nice. I'm working up a sweat because it is like 90 degrees outside right now. So we're gonna begin with a chakra clearing sequence. How we do this is we work from the crown chakra down to our root chakra. Um, this sequence helps to stimulate and balance the chakras. And if you can guess what the first one is, it's actually a headstand. And I know that some of us are not at that level, so that's completely okay. I'm going to demo a beginner and we're gonna do handstand, or headstand, I'm sorry. So to begin, we're gonna come down onto our elbows and grab onto opposite elbows here. So this is how you measure the distance in between for where your arms go. And then bring your hands down, interlace your fingers, and the pinkies are gonna go on the same level. So don't let them cross when you put them down on the same level. You'll bring the crown of your head down onto the mat, and then you're going to lift up. So this might be where you're going. If you don't go upside down, this is where I want you to stay. Um, I have to move my bun out because I'm not gonna be able to go upside down. Uh, so yeah, that will feel kind of hard to hold for a minute. So we hold all these poses for about a minute long. So if you can't hold it, you can just come down and that's completely fine. If you're coming into a headstand, I'm gonna go ahead and go into it. Grab onto the opposite elbows, the same way we set up. Interlace, pinkies on the same at arms level. Crown of the head comes down. You lift up. There's two ways to come into this. So you can walk your feet and you can just bring one foot up at, at a time and come into a tuck. This is why we need our core right here. And then you can straighten all the way up. Another version, you come back down the same way. Another way, if you have a little bit more strength, you can come into split legs and just let the other one float up. So once you get into your headstand, we're gonna hold it here for about a minute. So find your breath. And if you're not in a headstand, you're in that dolphin pose variation. So wherever you are, just be there and be present.
Really nice. You're gonna come down with control. Drop down to your knees, come into your child's pose. Just re-acclimate before you lift your head up. And then slowly just come back up into a seat. So the headstand stimulates and starts to clear that crown and the third eye chakra. The next one we're gonna move into is the throat chakra. From here, we come into um, our shoulder stand. So, I will demo this first. And what you'll do is you'll come onto your back and you're gonna bring your feet up. I like to rock my feet back so I can bring my hands onto my lower back and then walk your hands all the way towards your upper back as much as you can get them. And then once you're feeling pretty good um, at holding yourself up, you start to straighten the legs all the way towards the ceiling. I want you to, when you come into this, never look to the side. You always wanna look straight up. And a lot of times we have like our feet hanging over farther than we want. We really want our shoulders and our hips stacked. And this is what we'll be. I'm gonna lower down the same way. And another thing, if that feels like it's not something you wanna do, then you can just come into legs at the wall. You can just keep your legs lifted like this, even move onto um, a wall space. So whatever feels good again to you, I'm gonna bring this up so I can see my timer. And then we're gonna move up into our shoulder stand for one minute. And another thing to check in with, so we don't want to strain our neck. So really make sure that you don't feel a lot of pressure on your neck. And then again, connect with your breath. Be present in the moment. Just a few more breaths right where you are. And if at any time it feels like it's too much, you can come out. Don't feel pressure to do something that's not good for you. So from plow pose, we're gonna go into, or I mean shoulder stand, we're going into plow pose. So how we get there is we just drop the feet behind us. Hopefully I don't hit my mirror back there. So, eh, are we, am I going to? Okay, I'm safe. So drop the feet down and you can keep your hands on your back. You can interlace. If you have to bend your knees a little bit and they're not like together, that's fine. Don't worry if you don't look exactly like me. Again, not too much pressure on your neck. This is just a good counter pose for shoulder stand. Personally, this is one of my favorite poses feels really good to me. But if it doesn't feel good to you, then don't do it. We're not gonna hold this one for a minute, just about 30 seconds. So we can start to now slowly just start to roll back down. So bring your palms down and then just roll, bring your back down to the mat and roll all the way out with control. Let the legs descend towards the mat. Really nice. From here, we're gonna lengthen all the way out and we're gonna come into fish pose. So another good one for the neck, or for the throat chakra. Um, so the, fur, the shoulder stand, we were kind of crunching it together, right? Now we're gonna be lengthening out the front of it. Palms face down, 
bring them underneath your butt. So it's like you're sitting on your hands. And then you're gonna start to bring the elbows underneath your body. So we're up on our forearms right here, like this. And then you're gonna walk the gaze all the way back. So you're looking behind you and then you're gonna drop the crown of your head down. And then the way you come out of it is you bring your gaze back out and look at your toes. So again, if that feels too far away for you, you can always grab a blanket and put it right well where your head will land. So walk the gaze back, drop the crown of the head down, and then be there with your breath. So when we want to come out of this, first you're going to lift the crown of your head off the mat, then just start to walk the gaze all the way up the ceiling, all the way towards your toes, and then unwind, bring your arms out and just come onto your backs and pause here. So from this position, we're just going to walk our heels in towards our butt. So bring the heels underneath your knees. Make sure you can graze the back of your ankles. And we wanna make sure that our feet are facing forward so we're not pressing them out or in. And then arms by your side. You're gonna press into your feet and lift your hips up, coming into your bridge pose. So really press them down into your heels. And then if you want, you can bring your fingers underneath, interlace them, and then start to shimmy the shoulders together. Keep pressing to your heels, reaching your um, chest up towards the ceiling, opening up. So we're starting to work into the heart chakra. And these are heart opening poses. So again, if this feels too much, then you can come down in the between. We always try to hold these poses for about a minute but you can come down, pause, take a breath, and then come right back up. So we're more than halfway there. So just focus on your breath. In and out through the nose. Slow and steady. One more breath in. And then exhale, you're gonna release your fingers first, move the shoulders out of the way, um, if you brought them together, and then just roll all the way down. Really nice. Go ahead and just tap your knees, draw your knees um, towards one another and your feet out to the edges of the mat, just to reset your spine here. Really nice. We're gonna rock up to a seat. And we're gonna do a few more, where's my timer? We're gonna do a few more um, heart openers. So come back into your um, tabletop. And we're just going to lower it down onto our bellies. From here, tops of the feet press down and then zip up your legs. Hands are just below your shoulders and then draw your shoulders back. I want you to press your hip bones down into the mat and then draw your belly up and in. Inhale, lift up baby cobra. So pressing the tops of the feet down, draw the belly up and in. One more breath in. And then exhale lower. Really nice, let's do a few more rounds of that. So inhale, lift up, lift the chest. Um, slight pressure, pressure into your hands 
tops of the feet press down, draw the belly up and in, one more breath in, and then exhale lower. Really nice, one more round here. Inhale, lifts you up. And then stay here for two more breaths. One more breath in. Exhale, release. Really nice. And then we're gonna bring um, our shoulders, our arms out in front of us. So coming into our Sphinx pose. Here we wanna make this 90 degree angle. Sometimes we're out like this, and that's not what we want. Sometimes we're out like this, and that's definitely not what we want. So bring the shoulders, or bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Press into your wrists, into the mat. And then I want you to, you know, kind of grip your mat, hold your chest through your, through your shoulders. Does that make sense? Yeah. Pull yourself energetically through your arms. And then lift your knees up so the legs are engaged. So we feel a pretty good opening through our chest here. Just make sure you don't forget about your belly. We need to keep our belly turned on so we protect the lower back. Keep pressing down through those elbows and pulling yourself through, your, through in between your arms. And remember just to breathe. Sometimes I just close my eyes in these poses so I don't get distracted by things around me. I just can focus in on my breath and the pose and any sensations that I'm feeling. Really nice. Let's take another breath in. And then on your exhale, I just want you to drop your chin towards your chest and then right ear towards your right shoulder. So keep drawing those shoulders down and away from your ears. But now you have this nice sensation going on through your left part of your neck. Come back through center and then left ear towards left shoulder. Really nice, one more breath in. And then exhale, come back through center and release. Nice, we're gonna do just a nice rinse out. So bring the right arm out to the side, come up into the left finger, side fingertips, lift the left leg, and then cross it over. Really nice. Come back through center, and then just switch sides. So left arm comes out to the side, right fingertips down, Right leg lifts, cross it over. Really nice, come back through center. And then you're just gonna press yourself up into a seat. We're gonna um, come into our solar plexus. So solar plexus is to like fingers above your belly button. And this is all like twists and starts to even get into um, some hip opening. So let's start with, what am I gonna do? Let's start with um, a twist. Bring your both legs forward and then right foot comes in and then cross it over. So you wanna have this right foot on the other side and it's all the way down, sit up nice and tall. Bring the right fingertips behind you. Inhale, reach the left arm up. And then on your exhale, bring the left elbow outside of that right leg and twist open here. And then gazes towards the back of the room. Make sure we're drawing that shoulder back. a few more breaths 
Again, you can always come out earlier if it feels too much. Let's take one more breath in. Exhale, just bring your gaze forward and then unwind. Go ahead and just switch legs. Left foot steps in and then crosses over. Left fingertips come behind you. Inhale, reach the right arm up and then exhale, twist. Gaze is towards the back. Make sure that back shoulder isn't hunched forward. Really draw it back in line. So we have a straight spine here. a few more breaths right where you are one more inhale on your exhale just bring that gaze forward and then unwind go ahead and bring both legs forward all right seat it forward fold from here I want you just to bring your arms by your side and notice the difference between sitting up straight like this and having your spine rounded, right? So if you can't get this with your legs straight, you're gonna bend the knees a little bit and now lengthen. So you're tilting the pel um, your pelvis forward, your hip bones forward, I mean. Arms by your side. So you can stay here. This is great, because look how straight my spine is. You can start to push yourself forward I like to turn my fingertips behind and press my chest forward. So I'm feeling this nice lengthening through my spine. And you can stay here or maybe you reach your arms forward and then grab onto your legs wherever they land. And if you do have, if they have the room, you can lengthen out and keep coming straight. But if you lengthen out through the legs and you lose that lengthening through your spine, then don't don't do it. Really nice. One more breath in. Exhale, let it go. Go ahead and lift back up. And now we're going to come into a hip opener. So the hip openers start to get into, the, um, into your sacral and also still helps with the solar plexus. So we're gonna start with the left leg on the bottom. We're gonna do double pigeon. Left leg is on the bottom. You're gonna grab the right leg and bring it on top like this. I want you to bring your hands behind you and just open up here real quick with your hips. You might be noticing your knee is like super high or maybe you have really open hips and it's already pretty much down to where your ankle is. Both are fine, but we all have different bodies. So if this feels pretty good in your body, you're just gonna stay right here. Otherwise, you're gonna start to walk your hands forward. Now notice that both my feet are flexed here too. If you just let them go, you're not gonna engage your legs as much. So we wanna keep the feet flexed. And then you start to come forward and go where you start to feel good. Not so good, I guess, right? Cause this is a very intense hip opener. You can feel it in your outer hips. You can always put a block here, pillow here to close that gap. So again, just come into your breath. Just be in the pose. Use your breath to release where you're holding on to. A lot of times we tense up in these difficult poses because we're afraid 
we're afraid of the feeling, right? If we use, use our breath to release that fear, we can start to release that part, that muscle that is just um, that is triggered right now. So just try to start to soften through the body. start to rise back up bring your hands behind you unwind and just windshield wiper side to side and then go ahead and switch we're gonna start with the right leg on the bottom left foot comes across hands stay behind you just pause here let the hips open a little bit and then you can start to walk forward remember feet are flexed and I should have mentioned this on the other side, but sometimes we get this foot stuck in side our knee. We need to get it outside. Again, use that breath if you feel very fidgety, like I'm fidgeting a lot. Use the breath to calm yourself down and to find a pause in your body. Find stillness. Find release. Go ahead and start to walk your hands back up. Bring them behind you. Just windshield wipe your feet side to side. Nice. So we're gonna come into um, a forward fold. Or wait, so we're gonna do crow pose next. This is um, one for your sacral chakra. Um, any hand balance really. So if you've never done crow pose, don't worry about it. Um, we're gonna break it down, but if you don't feel like you're ready for it, you're just gonna come into the squats and you're gonna stay here. Hands at heart center, feet are out at 10 and two. I'll turn towards you so you can see 10 and two o'clock. You might be up here, you might be down here. If you're coming into crow, you're gonna place your hands down shoulder width. You're gonna bend at your elbows, create a shelf to put your knees, and then come into the crow. Lift one foot up at a time. Gaze is steady. And then find your balance. and then control to bring yourself back down. Go ahead and straighten through the legs, bring their feet hip width distance, and just come into your forward fold again. Another good one for your sacral chakra. You can grab onto opposite elbows if that felt good earlier. It always feels good to me.
really nice. Go ahead and release. You're just going to roll all the way up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands at heart center. So we're coming to our last chakra, the root chakra. Um, we're going to start balancing on the right foot. So really root down into all four corners of your feet. Then you're going to bring the left foot either above or below the knee. So never on the knee joint because we want to protect the knees. So wherever you go, once you get there, you're going to press the foot into your thigh and the thigh will press back or your leg engage through the belly and the hands at heart center. And then you're going to find something in the room that's not moving and you're going to send your gaze there, your drishti. And then find your balance. Keep rooting down. Keep pressing the foot into the leg. Everything is working together to keep you stable, to keep you strong. Ooh. And if you fall, you just come right back in it. You can reach your arms up, grow your branches. It's really about having a steady gaze. If you are looking all around the room, you're sending your energy all around the room. You're not going to be able to stand still. Bring your hands back to heart center. Whew. And then release. I almost lost it at the end. Okay. And we always have one good side and one bad side, right? So you can start to notice which one is which. Ground down all four corners of your feet. Bring that foot above or below the knee. Press the foot into the lie. Hands to heart center. And then find your drishti. Send your energy into one spot. Focus all your energy right there. Sometimes I like to visualize a person staring back at me. It helps to create that eye contact, that energy connection. And you can go where you want. Maybe you grow your branches. You can bring your hands behind you. If you're feeling really dairy, you can close your eyes. I think I just made up the word dairy. <laughs> and just breathe. Really nice. Go ahead and reach your arms back up. Bring them back through heart center. And bring your foot back down. Coming into our final pose, mountain pose. Feet together or just slightly apart. Close your eyes. Just stand up nice and tall. Like a mountain. Bring your hands at heart center. Let's just do one arm all together. Inhale. Oh. 